a fucking big gray. Do you beard. see how he was sitting there? <laughs> He's oh, a yoga yeah, instructor without true. the stretch pants. <laughs> Which is different from a samurai. Yeah, yoga and samurai. God, we can't talk about this when he gets back. He might get offended. Yoga rai. Yoga rai. What? It's not even a he thing. He does yoga and oh, No, I just came for the whole new business. Yoga for men. You make them feel like they're becoming samurais. Yoga rai. Holy hmm. shit. You should do that at Dark Side. I'm totally just an ideas man. I have these ideas all the time. Are talking about fucking Dark Side yoga? No. No, I was not. Do, you should do Dark Side yoga. Someone you would get people. It. You, ever see you the have king, a lot of open space. You ever see the uh, King of the Hill episode where Johnny Depp is the yoga instructor? No. Oh, that's hilarious. Johnny Depp is a yoga instructor? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not actually. It's, oh, it's he's, not, he's the voice. He's the voice of it. I, yeah. I was thinking to be like Johnny Depp. No, no. A yoga it's pretty fucking funny, though. Johnny Depp and I shop at the same bookstore. Yeah. It's this one Johnny right here. Depp live? Los Angeles. No, I thought he lived primarily in Paris. Well, when he's in L.A., he goes to this place right here. Oh. And I was in there. You don't fucking shop in the... Shut the you, fuck oh, up, Jesse Tepper. Fuck. That's like me being like, I walk the same street as fucking... Yeah. I lived... in New York City. <laughs> I lived in the same apartment building as Hunter S. Thompson. Really? Yeah. Is that actually true? That's 100% That's true. That's fucking sweet. You guys are being very insensitive and very rude. Wait, and I what? brought you presents. We're talking about oh. Johnny Depp. Wait. Oh, because he still <laughs> heard about his Bushido bun. Ah. First of all, right. it's a ponytail. Okay, so it's not a bun. A Sorry. bun implies no. It's not bun. A That's bun implies thing. that you but fold it, it over but it and you tuck like it in. It looks like a bushido. It what looks was like a the bushido name tail. of? Um, I shook this up first, didn't you? Do you remember um, Home Improvement? Oh. You have another choice. If you, oh, oh you I know. already opened it. But okay, oh. here I'll, t- I'll trade. No, yes, okay. okay. I like a PB. What is that? Oh, no, thank you. Okay. That's fucking awesome. Can, can you stop he orgasming? Just, yeah, he just splooged in his work pants. It's your fault. Look, I need to wash these anyway. This is the Dark Side Records and Gallery Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Dark Side Records and Gallery Podcast, episode 18. Oh, we're legal. We have a special treat for the end of this podcast. Well past consent, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was episode 15. No, we that's 17. 17. We have a... Oh, you should, whoa! Oh, no, man, 17 was Stop. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. I meant years. Never mind. We'll get into laws oh, later. God damn it. The New York State Penal Code. We have a special treat for this podcast. We have the band 8-Bit in the house. We did an interview with them. We're going to play a brand new track that hasn't been played anywhere except for on Hudson Valley Homegrown on WRV. That's the only place it's also already been played. But you get the idea. It's still sort of an exclusive. It's probably also on the internet already, but that's fine. Whatever. So stick around for the end of the podcast. Because we're going to have those dudes on. Or save yourself the trouble. <laughs> Just skip ahead to the song. <laughs> Ooh. We have another special guest. It's not so special. He's not so special. He's just here. <laughs> he just why showed you, up why again. Why are you going to knock Jesse down like that? He just didn't have anything to do on a Friday night. True. We have Jesse Tepper from Sound of a Smirk and the Jesse Tepper Project. JTP. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's actually so- a program created by FDR. <laughs> The JTP and the FBA. Anyway, what was the name of the... Remember the older son on uh, Home Improvement? Uh, not... Brad? Um, Justin Justin Taylor Thomas? Mm-hmm. Jonathan Taylor Jonathan Thomas. Jonathan Thomas. Yeah, the older one. All the Taylor one. Thomases. <laughs> that he had the same ponytail. Well, see, his was a, a complete undershave. Was mine, it? mine is a mohawk. I'm, I'm going to Google that it. I'm very lazy about My brother see. did that shit. He did the undershave. So it's not a man bun. A man bun is tucked in back into the ponytail holder, back into the hair tie, so it creates a it bun. Looks this is a ponytail. Like a limp penis on the back of your skull. Would you rather I have an erect penis on the back of my skull? <laughs> I'd be more impressed. Oh my god. Please gel that. I will spike this straight up next time I come to work for you. <laughs> oh my god. That's my birthday present to you. Can we weave a like a um a Twizzler through it, so it looks veiny. <laughs> Done. Oh, that's creative. He has like a, like a veiny erect dick on the I'm back out. of his head. <laughs> oh, Tastes like man. strawberry. Hmm. I actually, his dick? I the had Twizzlers. a dick. Oh, the Twizzler. I would love if my dick tasted like a strawberry Dude, Twizzler. So every Jenny. girl would go Exactly, nuts. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That'd be like... Uh, Aaron not often says... Girl, I'm not saying you're just Aaron often dick. says... And you can leave this in. Aaron often says that she wished my semen tasted like... Insert thing here. 
Mm. Like depending on the moment, you know, mm-hmm. garlic. Yeah, because that seems to be a thing. Garlic. She has a thing for. <laughs> no, 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 really that's fucking love garlic. Take a shot of garlic in the mouth. Yeah, but oh. the thing is, garlic is great. I don't think I would ever want to eat a girl out and be like, "Wow, this tastes just like garlic bread." It's like I'm at Olive Garden. <laughs> Everyone feels like family. <laughs> It's so authentic and Italian. Well, it is all you can eat, really. All you can eat all salad. You- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about tossing salads, dude. Calm down. Calm yourself. Clam chowder, though, all you can eat for that, too. Whoa. Yeah, you just went Brooklyn like- on us. Oh, shit. Clam chowder. All you can eat is chowder. Clam chowder, man. Uh, Come on. I said chowder. Massachusetts. This fucking guy over here. Mm-mm. That'd be like chowder. Chowder. See, everybody, high pitched. Nobody understands accents. Say chowder. Stop making... God damn. Like, can't talk anymore. You know the classic northeast <laughs> I know. one. Who that, are you? I don't know. You, you know the northeast one that no one half can say. A beer and yeah, this is what I'm, happens. I'm already drunk. <laughs> the, the northeast word that people can't say. Jackies. I'm gonna sp- no. I'm gonna spell it. M O U N T A I N. Mountain. Mountain. Mountain? Yeah, everybody mountain. says mountain. Hey, I say mountain. Mountain. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Oh, I see fuck. I'm going mountain. over to the mountain. Yeah, but mountain. if you talk to people from the rest of the country, they say mountain. A mountain. Yeah, but a mountain. I'm going to climb that Does mountain. Does say the mountain? Sounds so... No. A mountain. Okay. That sounds like a delicious fried banana. Hmm. Can, excuse the me. Do you have a mountain? Beyonce mountain. Let's not get into that again. Beyonce mountain. <laughs> Listen. I know words. Okay. Wow. Harking back to an earlier episode. Berto, who says Beyonce as Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. Is this, since it's October and we're close to Halloween, are you going to hold a Beyonce? Oh. <laughs> Is that like your tri- your Halloween tribute to Beyonce? <laughs> That's um, you know, it wasn't going to be, but now. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to ride a surfboard? What? What? Surfboard. He doesn't, they don't get that reference. They don't they get don't, it? They don't, surfboard. Nah. Surfboard. It. Surfboard. It means penis. It's, in hip-hop. it's something that Beyonce, oh. Bay, Beyonce. I'm sorry, you're mispronouncing it. It's Queen Bay. Queen Bay. Uh, she uh, she goes on this tangent oh, about a surfboard oh for like a good minute. I think I've never heard the song. I just know everyone makes fun of it, and I've heard her say it like once. She's like surfboard. I like that at least you're like aware enough of the. Reference I know that these things. Making. Way to pay attention to the yeah. internet. I don't well, like the, to say things that I don't you understand. It. You've said so much that I didn't understand. So I'm far. sorry. I make no sense most of the time. <laughs> I can't believe you've had a Brooklyn accent this whole time. And I've hit it most of the time. You've been lying to us. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, working yeah. down in the city, like, brought it out a lot more. Oh, brought, brought it out. out. Oh. Brought it yeah. out. Wait, so do you, can I'm you sorry. be open with yourself now, working for Metro North? I'm finally, Are yeah, like, I'm finally accepting, <laughs> I'm finally accepting myself. No, it's, I lived, I lived in Pennsylvania for, like, six years, so I always hid, like, my accent. Uh, so you've got a little, that little, uh, Stop into it right now. Get out of here. No, 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 it's just, like, I would hide it because people would be like, oh my god, what do you say? And I'd be Is like, it wrestling or wrestling? Wrestling. <laughs> no, wrestling. Okay. Wrestling. Wrestling. When the further west you go, it becomes, it it becomes wrestling. It's wrestling. You show it respect. Okay? <laughs> this is a real sport. Like NASCAR. But fuck NASCAR. Sorry if anybody likes NASCAR. I met Dale Earnhardt oh, as a NASCAR. child. No, no. Really? You've you met you what? Know who that is. Dale Earnhardt. Inter- Dale, you don't, like know who, Dale Earnhardt? don't even know the name? Junior or senior? I thought he said Dylan senior. Hurt. Really? And, yeah, Dale Hurt. <laughs> Dylan Hurt. <laughs> Dale Hurt! I grew up in Charlotte, and uh, his daughter had a birthday party on the same day as me at Chuck E. Cheese in Charlotte. Holy shit. So wow. I, have, I have Dale Earnhardt's autograph on a uh, Chuck E. Cheese napkin. See, that's cool. That's, like, extremely fucking cool, because that guy is a legend. Was it more or less flammable than a regular napkin? Uh, it's behind glass. I don't know. Uh, wow. That's a fucked up joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a question about science. Welcome uh, to the Dark Side Podcast, everybody. <laughs> it's a fucked up joke, man. He's going to Molotov that napkin and throw it through your fucking windshield. No, it's probably worth way more than that. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. No, he's dead. He, 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 he throw that away. No, not him. Him. Yeah. It was oh, wait. I can't say that on a podcast. Nobody knows what I'm saying if I point. It doesn't matter. Moving on. Was it like personalized? Was it signed to you? Um, because I've recently read that those autographs are actually worth more because right. it has like that personal touch. It might be. It, it might say worth, to Justin. I'm not sure. I thought it was worth less because it because it's personalized to someone where you could pay. That's basically. 90s thinking. That's 90s yeah. thinking. Do you have a certificate of authenticity? Absolutely not. You're fucked. <laughs> From it. You're fucked. <laughs> Signed it. You can get it off on a What? You can get it. There are like services you can get it off on He's dead now. Whoa. Yeah, but they have like records. 
Do they? Yeah. Of him going to Chuck E. Cheese? No, His like receipts? they analyze the handwriting. Yeah. So do yeah. you guys. I don't get it. Let's see what? what you did there. Damn. What? <laughs> records. You love records. Yeah, we do. Fuck it. Thanks, Jesse. Mind. Welcome to the Dark Side Records Podcast. <laughs> I'm JJ. I'm Berto. Jesse. Doesn't work here. And I'm Will Booch. <laughs> Will Booch! <laughs> Clearly, Jesse's not a podcast listener. <laughs> or a big drinker. <laughs> He's just... Oh, no, I'm fine. I feel good. I, I updated my Juggalo name from last time. Low boots. You can't update it. you got to go through the process. No, I, I changed my, my Juggalo there's a, name. There's a committee. <laughs> it was Kombucci the Clown. But I, the clown. I'm i shortening it. It's now Lil Booch. Lil Booch. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Wait, why are you saying I'm not a fucking... Nobody else knows that name. No, yeah. Lil Everybody Booch? Here. Lil Booch. That's my, we talked is about that, this last podcast. How long has that been your name? Lil Since Booch. last podcast. Fuck me. Well, his was uh, Cum Squirt Fart. <laughs> no. Uh, Cum Squirt Fart? Squirt Squats. Fart Squats. Cum Squirt Fart Squats? Cum Quat Fart Box. Cum Quat Fart Yeah, two, though. Oh, Mud Flaps Fart Quart. <laughs> yeah, mud, yeah, Mud Flaps, the whole story. It's because I came up with the concept of a scrotum being the male Mud Flap. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Tech, look, I was driving on the highway, <laughs> and you just saw a mud flap. You were like, Mine. "Male scrotum." I don't, I don't remember what yours was. McFeely, McFe- Kegels McFeely, Kegels yeah. McFeely. Kegels McFeely. So, if you were Kegels. a juggalo, Kegels. Jesse Tepper, what Kegels. would be your what would be your juggalo Bayons. name? <laughs> so many, so many possibilities. Do we honestly want this loose cannon coming with us undercover <laughs> to the gathering? Oh fuck yeah! He's the one that we throw at the juggalos oh, while they're the chasing bait. us. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. I'll be I'll be the bait. <coughs> That's cool. Uh, I don't know what would my nick my my juggalo name be. Yeah, you know, like there's Shaggy Two Dope, Shit, Violet J. Uh, I think your juggalo name should just be Gary. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I would say sound about, about sound of a twerk. <laughs> <laughs> sound of a twerk. Sound of a twerk. Okay. I just think it's a good one. I was gonna say like uh, railroad rider. Or railroad rider. Mm. You know, something like mm. that. Actually, that just sounds like a wrestler. I was gonna say the rail giver, but no, no, yeah. no. It sounds, no, like, it no sounds like way too. No one wants to call you that. Yeah, yeah rail. No, railroad rider just sounds awkward like. Yeah. Be like, and this is our friend <laughs> Gary. <the> rail giver. <laughs> this is a, a hi. I'm conductor. Lil Booch. The conductor. The conductor. Okay. I can be. Uh, I can be the conductor. The kinky conductor. Ooh, I like that. Oh, burn. No, well, that would be his porno name. The juggler name would be like the killer conductor. Oh, the killer conductor. Yeah. But crazy, he's getting fired. Cause... Crazy killer conductor. Conductor cum. Cum. What? <laughs> conductor. Uh, I'm, the, what? I'm lacking the third word. Conductor cum something. <laughs> the, trying to play this on. Sounds smart, like it's but... going to become a reggae song. <laughs> conductor cum. But I don't know where it goes from there. No one does. Right near the beach. Right near the beach. <laughs> right near the beach. <laughs> Boy. I'm so sorry to all of Yeah, I feel bad for everybody. Fans. JB, did we have a theme? <laughs> no. Hey, so um, I just want to point out, if we could go really quick go back to um, Dale Earnhardt or whoever I thought he said uh, yes. a second ago. Uh, so the other night I went. Emily Bernhardt. Uh, so the other night I was at <laughs> well, the was new Fuh place. That is on Route 9. I was pho? corrected that it's not pho, it's pho. It's pho, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I sat at a table across from William Sadler. Hmm. Oh, Will Sadler. No, William Sadler. William Sadler. Show some respect. I know his daughter. I bet you do. Yeah, no, not like that. <laughs> I used to play open mics with uh, with his daughter. Who's his daughter? Uh, shit, I, everyone just used to call her Sadler. I don't remember her first name. Okay. But I, I knew her, I met her, she was cool. I was uh, I was uh, in the restaurant with Jenny, and I was trying to explain to her who she was without – he was right there and without trying to clue him in to that. You know, I was, and so I pulled my phone out and was, like, covering the screen while loading up IMDb so I could show her his IMDb page. <coughs> I don't know who it is. I'm pre- he's an actor. Okay. He was, uh, he was the president in the Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. Didn't see him. He was in the Green Mile. Did see that. Okay, here. I'll just pull up his <laughs> picture. Jesus. Have you ever seen a movie? He's an no. Actor. I said I you, did see that one. Oh, you'll you'll know him. He's um. Oh, you'll know him. Was he Percy? Very... No. Um... He, I mean, he's famous. He's in a lot of yeah. stuff. He's like yeah, one of those here's, like, here's his character face. actors. Yeah, he's he's always in movies. He makes a very good president. Which picture no? you show him? This his headshot. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that. No? Uh, let's see. Here's uh, here he is as a cop. 
Here he is as a cowboy. Here he is as a 1700s oil tycoon. (laughs) Here he is in a suit. Wait, 1700s? Oil tycoon. Don't worry about it. There he is as a sad... I don't think they had oil in the 1700s. It was the 1800s. That was 18 into I'm calling bullshit on your history. Yeah, 17 doesn't make sense. And if Jesse and I, if Jesse and I are agreeing on this, you must be wrong. Yeah, there's no possible way we would ever agree on anything. Shut the fuck up. I'm talking. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's lost on me, I'm sure. He's an actor. Okay. Okay. Even though looking at pictures... You can keep trying. You I would, like... You'd know. Aaron and I watch TV sometimes, and I'll go, who's that? She goes, you've seen her in ten movies. Morgan <laughs> Freeman, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. I saw Uma Thurman in Rhinebeck once. Oh, really? Yeah, she was right here. I tried to take Uma Thurman's father's class at Columbia, but there was a wait list. Mm. Shit. What sense. does he teach? Um, he teaches Eastern philosophy. Wow. And he's uh, actually really, like, a uh, highly respected theologian on, like, the Bhagavad Gita and all kinds of stuff. I never knew that. Yeah. I didn't know theologians awesome. were respected. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Gary Thurman is fucking <laughs> spinning <laughs> in his grave right now. Gary Thurman. He's dead? He Look, died. There's a lot of inaccuracies in this. Uh, in trust them all. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Remember <laughs> TMZ. Gary Thurman's dead. Feel free to. When he dies, this this episode will be ahead of the ahead of What things. would you do if he actually died like tonight? Well, I, I'm sure I wouldn't know about it. What if you found out? Then I would say, "Wow, that's a coinky dink." Mm, or maybe you're a fucking witch. Maybe it's because we're having a Beyonce right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, did you just accuse him of being a witch? He's a witch. He's a wizard. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. I'm not going to get into that. Mantra. The craft? Yeah. No? Nobody? No, I know what you're saying. No. Never, never saw the craft. Oh, Fire never saw the Balk is in it. Great yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. I only know her from mm-hmm. American History X. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also a great mm-hmm. role that she played. Uh, she was also great in The Waterboy. Movie. Yep. Really? Mm-hmm. Who's yeah. in The Waterboy? The girlfriend. She's Fire She's the girl. Oh, okay. Uh, She's like the Vicky main The main girl in it. Yeah, Vicky Valancourt. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Congrats, guys. So uh, listen, so uh, the point of us coming together this month for this podcast, we have a couple things we need to talk about really quick. First and foremost, we have Mike Doty coming to the store oh, yeah. on Monday. Mike Doty oh, yeah. from Soul yeah. Coughing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you, I need you like 20% Kool-Aid, man. That's what I need. All the time? I can do that all the time. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Every <laughs> fucking <laughs> day. <laughs> We have Mike Doty. We have a bunch of live events coming up at the store. You should go to our website, darksiderecordsandgallery.com. Go to the live page, see what's coming up. We're going to be at a horror con. It will have already passed by the time this is put up on the internet. So be sure you show up. (laughs) Mike Doty is going to be playing this Monday. It's great seeing you there. On the 29th, we're going to be having an all-ages costume contest. 28th. The 28th, we have a Stranger Things listening party. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting pressed on a... <laughs> <laughs> we're getting an exclusive smoke and clear colored press of the Stranger Things soundtrack finally out on vinyl. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also going to be playing Dungeons & Dragons. We're going to have food. It's going to be a good time. I have oh, never fuck, played wait. Dungeons and Dragons. That's Jesse, the twenty eighth. Jesse does not keep up on anything oh that we are God, doing. I look. I don't Jesus use social Christ. media. I'm really sorry. You said he doesn't worst. work here. He just kind of showed up for this. That's true. Yeah, you just asked me to be here, so I'm here now. Wait, who? Which one are you invited him? This motherfucker. The oh, pointing. I'm sorry. I'm pointing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> KP. Don't do the robot voice. Yes, I'm going to do the robot voice. No, don't do the robot voice. Hello, oh this, yeah. This is Jesse's best friend, robot. Hello there. <laughs> Would you like a slice of pizza? Yes. I would love a slice of pizza. Thank you. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Cannot compute. I do not know any songs about rainbows. Oh, yeah! Oh, God, I pinched a ball on the side of my jeans. That hurt. Well, this has been the Impressions Hour on Dark Side Records Podcast. I think that means your jeans are too tight. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, another important thing we have to talk about this podcast <laughs> is, Birdo, happy birthday. Mm. Thank you, JB. Happy birthday, dude. It was just your birthday, and you've, you've entered an elite... Ugh. Not so elite. Bracket. 
Happy the birthday. Rat, the dirty. Stay out of this robot. <laughs> Ow. The dirty 30. Why did they teach me to feel? <laughs> Why must I feel? How do you feel being 30? Uh, that sums it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's been making that noise for years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have been accused of being old for quite a while, so, you know. Mm-hmm. He stopped wearing loafers once after I heckled him about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was like five years they ago. They were really comfortable. <laughs> then he went to boat shoes. Yeah, then I put him on, I put it on Facebook <laughs> and he stopped wearing them. <laughs> As if, if he ever starts wearing Crocs. They were Crocs, Doc Martin slip-ons and they were no, really comfortable. No, if you ever start them. wearing Crocs. I hope everyone beats you, flogs you. Look, look. Listen, I can't speak to what I have at home that no one ever says. You're, oh, an, shit. you're an adult now. You can wear loafers now. <laughs> You've crossed the 30 threshold. You can wear loafers. But is that what I'm looking forward to? That's it. <laughs> Fucking wearing loafers? That's it. <laughs> That's all you got. Yeah, fuck me, right? That's all you got left. Great. No, no one will fuck you when you wear loafers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like repellent. <laughs> Pretty much. Hmm. Pussy repellent. Another thing we have to talk about. Stop it. I'm sorry. Uncle Bobby. Uncle Bobby. Won the Nobel fucking Peace Prize. No. Robert Zimmerman. He didn't win the Peace Prize. <laughs> Robert Zimmerman. <laughs> he run, he won true. the Nobel, he won a Nobel Peace Prize for literature. Peace. He did not wear the Peace Prize. It was a Nobel, Nobel Prize. prize Aren't literature. they all the Nobel Peace Prize? It has nothing to do with peace. One peace Prize. So... The Nobel Peace Prize is there's like many the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prizes. Prize. But there's a Nobel oh, Prize for... I thought, I thought it was the Nobel Peace Prize, and there's various categories no, therein. No. Peace, peace is a category. Is a category. Yeah. Oh. Peace is a category. So, okay, so I'm sorry. So let me start over. Uncle Bobby won the Nobel Literature Prize. Just the Nobel Prize. Just the Nobel Prize for Literature. A Nobel Prize. You know, Prize. books that are read. And he hasn't accepted it. Oh, as yeah, of right now. About that. Yeah. Yeah, he won't. Is it because won't his it. voice is so shot he can't speak? Have you heard him sing still? Thank he's you. He's still going, dude. I saw. I heard him a couple years ago. Sorry, it was. He's, stupid. he's still doing it. Would you say it's getting dark? Too dark, dude. Must be that some was... kind of way out of here. <laughs> he, he wasn't on his on his A game when yeah. I saw him. I heard that he was really good. Uh, a year or two ago, one of my friends went to see him and said that he was really, really good again. I'm watching but, this Tom know. Petty documentary. He's right now. fucking awesome. Oh man, it's but it's like so it's like four hours long, right? And in the middle of it, there's a whole thing which I didn't know because I you know was too young at the time. But uh, that at some point at the, in the early '80s, Dylan asked Petty and the Heartbreakers to be his backing band, hmm. and they just wanted a complete world tour together, and they like released some songs and. Oh, he's on, or they play on one of the Dylan albums. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. That's cool. Petty Things I did not also... know. Yeah, and like Holy there was shit. there was footage from the tour. It was like Bob actually looked like he was having fun. Apparently, it was the first time he had toured with a band since the band. Hmm. It oh was like God. it was really cool. I was like, "Fuck, I live in the wrong era." <laughs> That'd be fucking amazing to see. It sucks, but you never will. Yeah. Nope, you won't. The shit. The shitty part about like you hear all these great fucking stories about all these bands. Where all these artists like getting together and doing these fucking like once in a lifetime either shows or tours or whatever, and you know for a fact that because it was so long ago, they don't have fucking HD. Like you'll never see it on HD. You'll never see like great recordings. You don't of need it. HD. They, no, I have I you will seen confess a, that the recordings recording? can be fantastic. The video recordings will suck. Not so great. What, are there are there like quality live audio recordings of that? Oh fuck yeah! Really? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Because a record. Usually, if it's like a Bob Dylan record with them as a backing band, you'll hear Bob Dylan and maybe like Tom Petty in the background. But I imagine live, it probably sounds awesome. Mixed. It's like just in you know they only give you like a couple minutes of clip in the in the documentary, but it seems fucking great. Oh, that's awesome. The documentary is called Running Down a Dream. If anyone wants to watch it, it's on Netflix. Which may or may not be operating today. Everything's back up. Massive apparently. cyber attack. Was it done? You, where where have you been? I don't know. Somebody, Once again, I don't. Somebody broke the internet today. I didn't know. I was at work all day. I'm sorry. Yeah, so today's cyber attack uh, affected us. Mm-hmm. Really? Why? Yeah. Uh, well, so some hackers shut down a DNS company. It was like a third party that sends the internets out for a lot of yeah, major did, companies. Din, they, I think Din Inc. is the name of the company. Oh, D-Y-N. They send the internets out? Yeah, they send the internets okay. out. Packets, the internets. packets yep. and, <laughs> throw the nets the and uh, <laughs> hypertext, all <laughs> of those things. Your backslashes, that's where they come from. <laughs> the backslashes. Mm-hmm. And um, they shut down a lot of shit, including our credit card processing. 
That fucking really? Sucks. Yeah, we had no credit cards like, PayPal almost all day. Was down. PayPal was down. Uh, Spotify, Twitter, oh, shit. A whole bunch of shit. Netflix. Twitter was down. Yeah. That makes sense now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that made sense. We had no to pay attention to what you were doing on the train today. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted I at never, 6.55 a.m. No one liked it. <laughs> Fuck you. I tried to load. I got like a notification. I was like, oh, well, I wonder what happened. Wouldn't pop up. I was like, okay, yeah. this is weird. All day long. It's, act- it's back up now. But. You want to you know my conspiracy shit? I, I mentioned this to JJ earlier, but I was in the, uh, the back room. They were doing shipping this morning. And it was before we realized there was a credit card problem. But I opened our like Amazon Marketplace management screen, mm-hmm. and all the menus on the left side of the screen were in Asian writing. What the fuck? Hmm. And at first, I'm just like, oh, wait. this is stupid. I reloaded the page and was good to go. But now I'm thinking, it was fucking North Koreans, and they just said, pause? What? It wouldn't be a podcast without this. We should really work on getting uh, bang, bang. PBR to sponsor our podcasts. They probably do you think don't do, do many that? sponsorships. Look, I'll, if it, they just send us free PBRs, I'll, I think they I'm sponsor fine. a NASCAR car. <laughs> I don't. Do you think that's true? Peps, I don't know. you're pulling I, that out of your ass. I'm guessing. Yeah, you, no, you're pulling that out of your ass. Thank you, Peps Blue Ribbon. We uh, thank you for considering us for a sponsorship. We will gladly take. We accept your offer of sponsorship. Yeah, Whatever good. you want to send us, we'll take it. A cease and desist letter. <laughs> <laughs> Signed by the CEO of Pabst. Listen, dear Dark Side, this is Pabst. <laughs> Fire Jesse Tepper. <laughs> You're like, done. Do we have that? <laughs> he is out. We'll never have him on the show again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> you can't have two Kermits. His is pretty good. That's a pretty good Kermit. That's, that's about all I have. I have to admit, good. that was a good Kermit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not easy being green. Can you say, uh, can you say, um, this is the Dark Side Records and Gallery podcast? In yeah, this is voice? the Dark Side. Oh, you want me to, hold on. Hey, Go Robot, ahead. do you mind saying that? Not at all. I'll say it. Kind this is what he does at home. It had to be a fucking conversation. <laughs> it just had to be a conversation. This is what he does by himself. He this just is, wants a the, tag. This is the I'm dark so side. I know, that's all he wants. This is the Dark Side Records and Gallery podcast? Or just say, this is the Dark Side Records podcast. This is the Dark Side Records podcast. Enjoy. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Deep. No, yeah, you, you were done. Fucking stuff. Is, is this what we're going to do from now on? Sort of like celebrity intros. We just have ridiculous voices. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kermit. This is the Dark Side podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, that just sounded like yeah. you. It didn't really. Sorry. You got to put it's some okay. gruff on it. Put gruff some gruff? Great... Scruff, ma- Scruff McGruff. Like gr- what? The the Kool Aid Man? I guess he's got a little. He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, oh was... yeah. It sounded like the weird wrestler from Spider Man. I was gonna say Macho it Man, Randy like Savage. Macho Man. Bonesaw or do you mean Bonesaw? is ready? <laughs> Bonesaw is ready. I do a pretty good it. Macho Man as well. I'm yeah. the only one who ever got laid. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That shut all of us down. Yeah, <laughs> yep, I got nothing. <laughs> You're welcome. We all have hands, at least. Okay. That's the segue you chose. We all have hands. Here's a conversation say. starter. <laughs> How do you guys feel about fingers? <laughs> Where? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, nope. Okay. Wow. Birdo censored us. No, him. You wow. can say whatever you want okay. about fingers. Okay. In your ass, dick hole, whatever, oh, what have you. Dick Jesus. hole. I'm just saying. It's probably been done. I think there's a taper for the dick hole. Okay, okay, okay. Probably. Okay, it's gotta be. No, yeah, because no, no, they gotta no, do the, uh, the STD swab like, that they, that you know, the thing that they stick down there? Did what? you have that? For chlamydia? No, I never got it. No? I, I heard about it. I know someone who has gotten it. Yeah. Who the fuck? Apparently it's like, a, it's like the next level test, because they can do like a piss test these days, mm. but oh, if it doesn't show up positive and you're still concerned, they can do the... Uh, Swabbed on the dick You know what's a legitimate fear of mine? Hmm. Swabbed um, on the dick hole? Like kidney stones? Oh, I've been there. It yeah? It's rough. Ugh. It hurts so goddamn much. Ugh, I it's don't like want to know. It's incapacitating. No, it makes me... Two years ago, I had a, a brush with some stones, mm. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> really sucks. Because bad, basically, yeah. there's unless they're really big, yeah, they just say, in. nope, let's, you just gotta Piss let it ride. Me. Did you, you bled? <sighs> it did not bleed, no. I... Just the most agonizing pain, and there's just nothing you can do. You did just you, did you save it? 
No. Why I don't I, was, like I didn't see it. Straining your uh, piss. <laughs> Fucking I feel like you would know if something like a fruity pebble just popped out of there. Oh god! Yeah. Mm. Well, those are extreme cases, and they even have ones where you know they've like surgically removed them because yeah, yeah. they're so big. But uh, I didn't see anything. I didn't. There was nothing that was big enough that I visibly was it. Also, I guess relief? I, I also wasn't looking like at that. You're, point. you're just like, eh, just like, letting it, you're just letting it ride. I was like, holy watch. shit! Uh, I'm not dying in agonizing pain. So, so was, everything was it compared literally to that like is instant good. relief when it passed. Like you were just in yeah. The clear? Yeah, it just really? like, it kind of like you 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 would feel it start and then it just gets overwhelming. Like it's like and if you know you feel it like in your sides mm-hmm. and in fact I remember this I was living in New Paltz and in fact I had a, a night where I was hanging out with Phil the drummer of Dead Empires deadempires.com uh and wow. we were hanging out Dead together. <laughs> wow. And uh and I had like a whatever you call a kidney stone attack or whatever you call it. And I just remember like literally laying on the floor in the room and just in the fetal position and could not move. That sucks. Was Phil really helpful? <laughs> he was naked. I don't know if that helps. Wait. Um, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my friend's dad had fucking really bad kidney stones, and I remember hearing all about like fucking tore his shit up. It sucks. Kidney stones are not fucking funny. Yeah, they're not fun. I feel bad for you. It's okay. They're gone now. So Have we done one of these since I got my vasectomy? I can't remember. You got a vasectomy? Yeah. No more babes? You don't want them? Cut it out. Can I ask? What? Vasectomy. Yeah. Do they clip the fact that you're... Because they don't remove anything. No. So, like... It's a nip and a tuck. They so they sever, it can't get to you. They sever your vas deferens. Vas deferens. Lasers, then, right? What's that? Lasers? Uh, no, I didn't have the laser. Oh, you got the... <laughs> he, I had no, the, he, the you now knife. shoot lasers, I right? The, yeah. <laughs> You're like... Pew, pew. I had the cauterizing something or other. It was technically a non-scalpel procedure. I don't actually know how they did it, but... Basically, they take... They, they slit you on both sides. Damn. Above each testicle. And then they, uh, they pull your vas out... And there's apparently this thing called the cord around. It's like a protective nerve muscle thing. So they cut the cord, and then they cut the vas. They cauterize it, and then they wrap the cord over it as like a double protection. And, and just so you're picturing this correctly, <laughs> they physically pull it outside yeah. of oh, no, your no, no, body stop. to do oh, it. That actually made me now, you're awake during this whole process. They do a yeah, local Yeah, totally. Aesthetic. Just a local. So now how you... long is the vas? Are they like... Clown, clown it up, <laughs> like pulling it out. And like, the lasso. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny if the doctor was like, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> he just looked down, you're like, holy shit. It's like, a, it's like the classic like can of snakes. He just keeps it under the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Wait, what was. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Ah. Every time. Hey, what, was, what was the recovery like? Recovery was fine. Quick? Yeah, I, I felt. Could I, you have, did you have sex the next day? No. You're not there yet. Your your balls turn black and blue a little bit. Oh, that just doesn't sound fun. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I came to I worked almost the whole day the next day. I remember that. He did. He got he was a little tender point. I was tender. But, you know, he was yeah. tender. Little tender foot. Little tender. hobble. You tender foot. <laughs> tender foot. It's like a gout attack. And they removed ten, ten feet of vast deference. <laughs> They're gonna be a little gout. I don't know. <laughs> it's like gout in your balls. It's oh, no big deal. That sounds worse. Yeah, it's just a little tender. Wow. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. A little tender. Just a little prick. That's all you really prick. felt. Hey. Is that all you got? <laughs> oh! It's okay. Hung like a gnat. What? 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 <laughs> Gnat. Gnat. Ganache. But the perk is that you uh, you feel like you've been kicked in the balls for like a day. Yeah, a couple days you gotta you gotta sit on some ice packs, and then you can come anywhere in Any, literally uh, anything, anywhere, anywhere. It's actually it federal matter. federal law is no, federal no law. crime. <laughs> if you have a vasectomy, you can come anywhere you want. Oh uh, no, know. sorry, officer, I got my card. You know what they say? <laughs> you know what they say about hotel rooms? Yeah. It's all guys that had vasectomies. <laughs> See, that's kind of fantastic though, because I just saw you come earlier. You know the disappointment though on this stage because you have to get your sperm counted. Afterwards, to confirm oh, that, to confirm that sure the process is good. All the movies and TV shows that you see growing up leads you to think that there's a jerk-off room in the doctor's office. Yeah. There's not. 
<laughs> it's a home. It's a home game. So what does that mean? They basically you make you leave with like a little kit. I, I call it the cum kit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little plastic bag that says Premier Medical Group on it, and then it's got two empty specimen cups and an instruction sheet, and you're just supposed to do it at home. Does it have to wait, stay wait, cold wait. though? Is there like see. a temperature requirement for it? You have to get it to the lab within an hour. I want to see the instructions. So you need to sheet. go home, splooge in a cup, get back there within the hour. And the nurse is like, like, they know what just happened. They know what you were doing about 45 minutes prior. Yeah. Okay. Come kit, farquat. That's I it. like now, that. Did, so you're not allowed to ask the nurse for help? I like, like that. Like a little Come hand or something? No. Come okay. okay. That's... Cause it's it's all, all... The movies have also told me that all nurses who work in these offices are like... They're really attractive. Hot. Really hot. Yeah. Busty, porno style yeah, they're like, nurses. Oh my God. Yeah, not just want me to help? It's like, it's yeah, maybe the like least sexy place you could go. robot smoking. It's like what? Have anybody like a, ever been to a urologist? Because I had never no, been to a never urologist nope. before. It's basically just a room of old people who have like bladder issues. I assume. Yeah. So you're just you're clearly the youngest person there. I imagine you're young to get a vasectomy too. I like, think a so. Lot of yeah. People aren't like yeah you know, sniffing it. I was gung ho. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, two kids. Two kids Catholic. Two kids Catholic. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do that either. Or I would do that if I had two kids. I'd, no fucking point. You can come anywhere. Literally anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Shit. Well, congrats to you. Thanks. That's about all the news I have. <laughs> Berto went to Disney World and Disneyland in the span of a month. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's true. Really? True story, yeah. For your birthday? No, just fucking... Just because. Well, okay, I went to Disney World in September for, like, vacation. And then I was out at a friend's wedding in California this past weekend. He's and ready. what do you what what you, what do you got, man bun? You sickened me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, to, both the Disney parks. Listen, hey, ugh. oh my! God. You're just upset because I didn't send you a cute picture from Disneyland. You sent me many cute pictures. In right? fact, we had an ongoing thing of you trying on different hats. This is true <laughs> that you sent only to me. They're also true. <laughs> <laughs> you're you know what I, hey, I'm at Disneyland. You know what I'm going to do? Who's that JV a picture of me in a hat? Well, no, I told him beforehand. I'm, <laughs> no, like, no, I'm going to send you like a fun Multiple. picture every day look. so you miss how much fun you're having in Disney World. Hey, look at his hat. <laughs> now look at his hat. Hey, look at his hat. When did he become like, hey, how you doing? I'm from New York. How's this hat look on me? This one's a squid. <laughs> this one's Mickey Mouse ears. This one's a cat. <laughs> this there one's r 2 d Oh, no. <laughs> Who the fuck would sell a squid or a cat hat? Disney. Disney. Yeah, what about all those stupid people who are the, like little furries with the little cat ears and shit like that? That counts. Why do you have to make fun of furries? I'm not making fun of them. I'm Maybe just I'm a fucking that, furry. That uh, doesn't yeah. surprise me at all. You don't have much hair body hair at all. I, that's that's a different that's kind not, of furry. That's not how furries work. That's a bear. I know. I have a book. Uh, oh. He does. He has a book. I'm he has a, a dick bear. hole. Are you a bear? He's a bear. I would be considered a bear. Uh, technically, I believe I would be considered a cub. Yeah, I, would, I was small. about to say, you're yeah. very cub-like. He's yeah. a bear. Yeah, JJ's He's a also bear. a bear. Do you have a hairy chest? Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, moderately. Moderately. Do you not, know what, not like you. Do you know what they call me? I think your feet are hairier a, than you, my you're, twink. You're a twink. I'm a yeah. twink. Yeah. yeah. That's the worst that. name in the world. Like some gay guys like... Oh, this comes back to that with you, doesn't great. it? Great. I, I had a friend Jesus. of mine who's uh, what? God, damn. gay, and he went, one night he was like drunk, and I was texting him about something. All of a sudden, he like sends me this picture. He's like, "Yeah, hey, fuck off, man! I'm hanging out with this twink. Like, I gotta get laid." And just, Jesus, he looked kind of like you. He was adorable, you know, blonde <laughs> guy. And if I were gay, accent, I would be a twink. Turret train conductor. Train. Where's weird. your whistle? <laughs> His name was Jesse. Oh wait. What would you yell if <laughs> all aboard? The- <laughs> <laughs> all aboard the rail. Can you uh, wait? Can you, wait, what did you say? Can you give us a reenactment Crazy killer- of, of what you would do with the whistle? Blow it and then. Yell something, I assume. All aboard, crazy killer conductor. <laughs> that, that would be it. When I get to the juggalo. And then Ryan test. starts rapping, and then it's just the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Lil Buka comes out. Or then Lil, Lil Bucci. We'll, we'll take next train. I think, yeah. I think we should skip this I don't want to be I here. Don't, I don't like this one. Is there a quiet Ooh, You want to hear a weird story? Oh, yeah, train always. Stories. Girl Mr. Train today? Nice girl had and a boyfriend. A lift. I drove her Wait. to the next train station Wait, you bring because to she would have had like a good hour and a half. Because he tried. Tr- Wait, I didn't do anything. She was cute. She was nice. Didn't do anything. Didn't even touch her. What does she that mean? You fucking Trump and you yeah. grab her by the pussy. Trump? What's the no, deal? I didn't Jesus. grab her by the pussy. I didn't tell you this. I told him this story. Flying out to L.A. last week. 
I overheard in like the airport Isn't this girl oh, yeah. who has turned Trump into a verb. And she was, I don't, I don't know who she's talking to. She's like, yeah, I don't care about the movies. I just don't want to get trumped on the plane. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, it's a thing now. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get political, but. Mr. Guy who picks up strange women and drives them to train stations. That's Why your is line. She strange? That's your line for the podcast. Why is she strange now? Did you know her previously? She got in a car with no. you. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty Do you know strange. her name? What's I her first like, name? Lily. Aw. That's nice. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Jeez. I don't know why good, that in like a, a good way. You. Yeah, Jesus. What'd you say? I don't know why that elicited a fuck you. He's been in Brooklyn He's too long. He's very so defensive. Yeah. I'm sorry about his actions with Lily. Trainy mouth. Also, this is, the <laughs> se- this is probably the second thing he mentioned on the podcast that might get him fired from Metro North. So. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god. That's yeah, Jesse. that's gone totally against the rules. It's, it's this is why you don't work for like the FBI. Oh, anymore. I was off. I like. I off. it was the last. It was my last train. After that, I can drive whoever the fuck I want. I'm pretty sure they have a policy about not. Because you're a star. Shit. I'm a fucking star conductor. I do whatever <laughs> I want. I'm a fucking. I'm a fucking. Bleh. How long you worked there? Uh, five and a half months. Five and a half months. No accidents. Five. No, no, <laughs> no train crashes. I'm a star. No tra- I'm, a, I'm a big fucking deal around you here. You know what? I'm Wait, not in Jersey. Tra- yeah. Oh no, that's right. That was a Jersey. That was train. fucking okay. Jersey. Calm your shit. That was not my fault. Calm Jesus. your shit. He's so aggressive. Is this now. Fran wow. Dresher's wow. nephew all of a sudden. Yeah. Fran. Dr- no, that'd be like. Calm your shit. That she was, had a no, fucking you're the nephew. Way. No, we're not, pulling that from the repertoire that's like? off the impression list. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, again. I'm saying that you're Fran Drescher's oh. nephew now. Hello. Fran oh. Drescher's my Hello, aunt. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Fran Drescher's my aunt. Just weird. I don't know. Pick, uh, told her I'd drive her home. Or not home, but <laughs> like that, to another like The story has changed. Like there are yeah. there no, I told her that I told you I know a place that's pretty secluded. Hey, what is this? This is kind of dark. Does this rag smell like chlorophyll? Chlorophyll? Chlorophyll to you. We're just going to have like an X-rated outtakes podcast. Like some like the five-year anniversary just release all the shit. God, no. That's going to be when you run for some kind of political office. <laughs> we just talked about that. this. How you would be the fucking guy <laughs> who would torpedo my campaign. <laughs> would you fucking ruin it? <coughs> No, look, save this look shit. you <laughs> ruined shit. your no, own campaign. Nobody's got that kind okay. of hard drive space. <laughs> <laughs> All the horrible things Bruno says. <laughs> we were just talking about this. I'm like, yeah, someday I'm going to like open the the Wall Street Journal. It's like, John Bryan, former employee, <laughs> spills all. No, it's going to be secret source leaks audio tapes. Flock of seagulls. Here. Knows, here's <laughs> individual. Flock of seagulls. Yeah, JB is our resident flock of seagulls impersonator. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. With my nose ring. Impersonate them. Mm-hmm. And I ran. No, I'm the impersonator. He just can't help himself. I know. <laughs> he has to be involved. I get so excited. What were we talking about? Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. I was. So, I, I talked about how... We should have a topic for this podcast, but mm-hmm. nobody actually did their homework. So maybe for next podcast, and we can solicit um, listener solicit. suggestion or list, listener lists, lists, listener lists. Well, it's hard to say. Well, listener well, lists. Here's the thing, really quick, before we get to that, is that uh, next podcast is going to be the Back to Black Friday list. Oh fuck! November coming up quick on the 23rd of November is Black Friday, or as it is in here. Back to Black Friday, put on by Record Store Day. We're going to have exclusive titles. We're going to have limited edition releases. It's going to be a party. Also, by that point, uh, Justin will have attended his first Wu-Tang-related concert and can report back. Wait, are you really going to see Wu-Tang? Yeah, who are we going to see? RZA. RZA. Bullshit. RZA's rescore of the 36 Chambers of Shaolin. I'm excited. Gurk is excited. He's coming along because he needs a night out. You, Gurk, and Justin? We're rolling deep. So next podcast, we're going to talk about the list that's going to be coming of releases for mm-hmm. Black Friday. And what what did you want to talk about, JJ? What was the... Oh, dicks. <laughs> Go on. I thought it was Cox. I just thought it would be funny if we if we all came up with a top five names for a penis list. Oh, top five? Yeah. For, oh, right. I thought we were just like brainstorming ideas. Point of order. We got a little, a, we got our a, individual little penis? No. Or I, and top five I, names for a dick in general? Just just top five funny names for a penis. Okay. I, I have got a really good one. I just don't want to reveal it until that conversation. <laughs> I can think of a few. Go. Well, I thought we were waiting. We're, we're freestyling right here. Little killer. Go. Little killer? That's your new juggalo name. <laughs> Little Killer. Little Killer. 
Little dick killer. You mean Lily Little- killer? Oh! oh! <laughs> she asked if I was going to kill her. Is there an Amber Alert Jesus out yet? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was really weird. He changed his accent. We don't, we don't know anything about this guy. Yeah, she was like, she was like, are you going to kill God him? damn it. He's we, using us as an alibi. I know. Check her trunk. I swear, I was here the whole night. He did call before he came, like two hours ago. Mm-hmm. Pop mm-hmm. the trunk. Look, for one thing, if I was going to put a body anywhere, it wouldn't be in a trunk. It's stupid. Smart. Too exactly. Much, too much forensics. Exactly. Unless you line it with plastic, but then there's a, you know. <sighs> Do you know how hard that is? Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. No. A lot of work to kill people. I'd bury it immediately. No, you never fucking bury a body. You bury never. It. You bury, burn it. It's got to be like really high heat, though. You got to yeah. get the ashes. Yeah, because no bones. No bones, exactly. No hair, nothing. I don't want bones or hair. It's the hydrochloric acid is really the best way to go in Breaking Bad, but that's hard to get your hands on. I didn't have enough time. You'd also hey, need like... you order chemicals over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's also true. This just took a turn that I'm not entirely happy Look, with. I Listen, didn't I've kill anyone, this. I promise. I know what I'm talking about. Not so much the how-to, but the how to prevent, but it, you know, it's a good how to prevent. It's a good segue into the how-to. <laughs> how to prevent not <laughs> getting <class>. murdered. <laughs> how to prevent murder, 201. <laughs> I'd take that class. I would name mine Bruce Painis. What? It's like Bruce Wayne. No. Penis. That was so Bruce bad. Painis. Okay. Look, I'm freestyling. I'm doing my best. You, off the top of the Please dome. call it freeballing. Okay. <laughs> I'm freeballing <laughs> as best I can right now. Let's hear you do something better. Rommel the Invader. <laughs> Jesus. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that penis at all. Is there a penis you do want anything to do with? I'm sure there is. Okay, well, hey, he's cleared that up. Bruce Painus. It's got no, <laughs> so bad. It's really bad. It's got no parents, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. So then it's... No. Well, penis names, though, are, like, you could come up with some really great penis names. I, I always mean, said if I was going to be a pro wrestler, my name would be Dick Delicious. <laughs> Dick Delicious. Well, ironically, there's actually a local pro wrestler, and his name is Vic Delicious. Um, Fucking stole um, my shit. Vic Vicious. Vic Delicious, no I'm calling you out. That's right. You stole my name. Are you trying to get him to wrestle you? No, I just wanted him to be on the wrestle? podcast so we could talk about wrestling on a That'd podcast. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I think I think what we were saying before, if I was more of a train-oriented penis man, <laughs> <laughs> something about know. something about a rail would just make sense. The third rail. The engineer. Third rail. <laughs> the engineer? I, no. Why? I'm pretty sure you could be known as the Express. <laughs> no. no, I'm a through train. I don't, I that's, an, I don't, that's a, a really that inside joke. Yeah, no one would. Yeah. No, it's okay. Off but peak. No. Off peak. <laughs> oh. Sidecar. Off peak. <laughs> Off penis. Oh. Why do you keep making weird penis jokes? Because we're trying to come up with yeah, names for keep penises. Penis into I it. I, it's I, I, agree. I think it's less penis. funny if penis is actually in there. Yeah. Why, why is it less penis? funny? That because doesn't make any sense. Then how are you going to know we're talking about a penis if the word penis isn't in it? Think about it. It's logic. Oh, these are supposed to be the code third, names for your penis. The third no, rail. he just said names for your penis. Yeah, That's but these like are I'm taking it. Lily. I'm going to go introduce her to Rommel the Invader. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to take this, Lily, and I'm going to introduce next her. next to the fucking road. I'm going to introduce her to Bruce Painis. Hey, Lily, meet Lily Hammer. <laughs> 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 Is this a new low for the podcast? Uh, no. Was, was there, there, was there anything time. ever higher than this? Yes. yes. Yeah. We oh, talked about music and releases and such. Oh, yeah, shit. I was on here before. Mm-hmm. Talking about music and shit. Not penises. So coming up, we have an interview with the band 8-Bit. Great band. Great band. What happened to the first seven? <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. I thought that was funny. Yeah. You're drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah! That was too that bad. Really, too that really was really yeah, too, much, too much on that one. All right, so this has been a pointless podcast <laughs> that we've done here together. Totally. Totally pointless. Oh, yeah! So, thanks, for, thanks for listening to the Dark Side Records Gallery Podcast. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with our Back to Black Friday list. And then coming up, I mean, we got a, a couple of good podcasts coming up. It's Back to Black Friday is the next one. After that... Christmas. It's 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 and holiday. It's going to be our Krampus gift guide. And the list. That's a thing we do. Say what? Yeah. Exactly. The minstrel maker. 
Ooh. The minstrel? No, menstrual. Menstrual. Yeah, menstrual. Minstrel. No, no, you're missing the men- point. No. We're saying the same he thing. He just doesn't get menstrual. it. He just doesn't get it. He doesn't know what menstrual, menstrual is. Like, something else. Four lords leaping, there are minstrels. <laughs> that's no, the, that's, like, his, uh, that's when he wraps his dick gushing. in some fucking... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minstrels. Okay. And barons in and lords. Re- no, no, if she's barren, I don't think there's a menstrual thing. <laughs> Science. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and now for the Roberto Discusses Women's Issues segment of the podcast. <laughs> Just, if they're barren, they're dry. <laughs> Thanks, Berto. <laughs> Back to you, guys. Well, I'll tell you, they're all hysterectomy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has gone completely off the rails. Uh, do we want to do a coupon off code? Off the rails? Do we? Oh, my oh. God, because I'm a conductor. Stop talking. Do we want to do a coupon code? Sure. Yeah, um... Lily oh, Hammer. No, no, Lily's Lily. alive. <laughs> don't, please don't do it, Lily's alive. How's about, uh... Lily's dead. No. That's a joke. <laughs> Jesse's homeless. Jesse Tepper Jesse's, won't be back. Jesse's, ho- <laughs> Jesse's homeless. Sound of a jail cell. <laughs> so wait, does that make Lily... <laughs> stop. Jesse's stop. girl? Uh, ah! Fuck that song! Well done. So the coupon code for this week, Lily Hammer. Lily Hammer. Come up to the counter, say Lily Hammer when you're uh, making a purchase. We'll give you 5% 10%. 15% off. 15% if you're actually Lily and 20. can verify this guy's identity. 10? Come 10%. 10%? Sure. Okay. okay. 10%, 10% off percent. one item for your purchase. Yep. You say Lily Hammer at the counter, you get 10% off one item. Awesome. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Until then, I'm Lil Booch. I'm scarred. <laughs> hey, Jombie. <laughs> Don't drink it, podcast. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we are here for the Dark Side Records podcast, and we have with us, especially. Especially with us. On the podcast. Especially with us. Redundant. So, uh. Here for a special interview on the Dark Side Records podcast. I'm just going to start over. Who gives a shit? <laughs> we have the band 8 Bit. Hey. Hey, guys. How's it going? Wonderful, wonderful. Hi. So, 8 uh, Bit, why don't you uh, introduce yourselves? Hi, uh, my name's Alex. I sing and I play guitar in 8 Bit. I'm, uh, I'm Ryan. I play the drums. And I'm Paul. I play guitar as well. We got Paul Ryan over here. Oh shit! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> and our, our bassist Charlie couldn't be here tonight. I think he was out fishing. He's night. He's night fishing. fishing. Yeah. Is that a euphemism? He thinks he thinks the bass is a fish. It's a, ba- a, a bass, bass guitar. Bass. It's a bass. Oh, it's a bass God, guitar. Can't win me. It's a bass guitar. <laughs> he loves the fish. He eats that stuff. That's how he. That's how he survives. He's a survivalist. Does he consider him mercury poisoning? You know what? He probably has a lot of mercury poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> he probably explains a lot of the grunting. <laughs> He's got all different types of stuff going on with his health. Uh, his skin is very red. I assume that he gets these fish out of the Hudson River, so... Well, he goes everywhere, but he does go to the Hudson River for some fish. Uh, I don't gross. know if he eats those ones. <laughs> so gross. At least he doesn't admit it. If Charlie hears this, he's going to hate us. <laughs> yeah. But he's great. Charlie is the glue that keeps his van together. Very true. It is very true. Charlie is the reason... Yeah, it's funny because he's not here, but he doesn't have to be here because we wouldn't kick him out for it, so he knows that. <laughs> so any of the rest of you run the risk of being kicked out for not showing up to him? He'll kick us out. Paul. Okay. Only yeah. Paul. <laughs> Paul's actually the new guy. I'm still on six month probation. Oh, mm. he's still. You're done here. <laughs> One fuck up. This is the I'm true out. test. <laughs> true test of time. You're fired. Quiet Rehired. Time. Raise. <laughs> All right. Cool. You're now bass and rhythm guitar. Yeah, yeah, I do those both in separate projects, but guitar for eight bit. Okay, so uh, s- so you guys, um, you're putting out a new record. We are. Um, it's been about a year in the works. Uh, just finished 13 songs. We recorded uh, not a recording studio. Uh, John DeClario, he's a very, very great guy. He's the man. He's very good. He's, he's treated us very well. He uh, gets our music really well. He, he knows punk rock music, and he's, he killed it. And we're really proud of it. And, you know, next month we'll be having our CD release party uh, at St. Rocco's in Beacon on November 26th. And I believe when digitally it's going to be online. November 10th. November t- 10th. So uh, the name of the record is... God willing. Yeah, uh, the name of the record is uh, "No Space Like Home," 
So it's it's pretty cool. We're looking very much forward to people listening to it. It's gonna be cool. Cool. And we're actually we're gonna play a track from that at the end of the podcast here. Sweet. Yes. Is I it the hidden track or playing the hidden track? We're not playing the hidden track. Uh, the hidden track is uh, for debate. Paul um, Ryan special appearance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah I, I believe it's the song "Not So Stellar." Uh, it's the it's the lead off track in, of the record. It's the song that's gonna drive you into this record and all the rest of the songs and and all of our feelings and emotions and uh, it's a wild ride. Wild wide. I heard that, uh, uh, well, I should say, tell me about uh, how you wrote that song. Oh, so um, basically we, we had 12 songs and we were getting ready to go into the studio and we were at practice and I, just, I said to Ryan, I was like, dude, you know, like every great record has like that opening intro song that is just like, gets you so pumped up. Like it just, it just you, you turn the record on and it's just in your face right away and you just can't wait to listen to the rest of it. And we didn't have a song that did that. Like, all of our songs were cool, but, like, not one of them felt like that really good intro song. And three days before we went to record, um, you know, we were practicing, like, let's go back inside and see what we could do. And we wrote the song and we loved it. We polished it and two days later we went to the studio and wrote the words in the studio and now it's... if It's one of my favorite songs that we have now. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, definitely. And it's just it's such a powerful song it's short quick to the point um and it's it's really cool and i can't wait for people to hear it it's one of the songs i mean we've only played it live once we actually played it at dark side for the first time uh and we kind of messed it up because i was nervous but <laughs> nice. and actually it's funny because we were all because we did do a lot of it in the studio we were like oh crap how's this gonna sound when we go to try and do it live and uh you know, we went to the, we went to go play it with you know all the new parts that we had written in the studio. And the first time we did it, we killed it. And it's actually our probably our best sounding live song now. So it's, it's gonna be high energy. love it. Very high energy. Get you. It's gonna get it's gonna get the ball rolling. Gonna get people hopefully dancing around. Then all the rest of the songs are gonna mellow people out. <laughs> They're like, all right, great, we're the good ones out of the way. No, I'm just kidding. They're all good. <laughs> we hope. We hope. <laughs> We'll oh, yeah. be the judge of that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell me, tell me about the uh, the secret track. Oh, the secret yeah, track. Oh this. boy, you know what? <laughs> is it going to be on the record? It's only you know going to be on this I'm, podcast. We all want it to be. Does all... it have a title? Rasta swag. Rasta swag. Okay. Can we play it on this podcast in the future? Um, Can we release I'm it totally here? I'm totally okay exclusive? with it. See, I'm pushing but then it's for not the a special hidden track. track. It's, it's hidden. No one's there. listening to this. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how hidden it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's. Well, I, I really wanted it. I, see, I like. It's amazing. It shows, it shows showcases your. Yeah, your you say that, but you don't want it on the album. No, I, w- I do. I was one of the first people we're to gonna, say we should make it a up. secret. We're getting into the controversy. Okay, here. I was dealing with this whole mess while you were in the, the closet so, doing yeah, your. Yeah, a lot of controversy around the secret track. for sure. But basically, the secret. The, I mean. You know the what may or may not be the secret track is a a rap song that you know I I like to rap. Do you? I always he's I a great always, rapper. I always have rapped since I was a young boy. Great rapper up in the hood. I don't know if that's the right term, <laughs> Jesse Tepper. <Yeah. laughs> if we could say that, he yeah, could yeah, say. Yeah. It. <laughs> I don't know. And, the climate's um, not right for that. So we were right sitting now. in the studio with John, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, John, you know, because I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to rap in a studio." And they were making fun of me. And then I went out to, like, have a smoke. I came back in, and John's like, Ryan, your dreams come true. And he had a really awesome little beat that he had made in the five minutes that I was outside. And I went in there, and I tore up the track you killed like it. a motherfucker. Killed. I still got a video of it. It's, and, it's pretty sick. And uh, I don't know. They, they don't want to put it on the album. They say it doesn't, it doesn't fit with the music. So. It, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's hilarious. It's, t- it's really talented. I think the sensitive... The more sensitive people might not understand the artistic direction he was going in when he was reciting this. You know what I think we should do? This is the only way to do this fairly. I think we should just put it to a vote. Okay. All in favor of putting right. it on the record. Uh, We're going to include everyone who's not raise involved your hand. in the actual yes. process of making it. <laughs> have to go it is unanimous. <laughs> I didn't raise my hand. <laughs> you, you it's unanimous. unanimous. It's unanimous. <laughs> well, you, got, you, guys, you guys haven't heard it, so you might not. Yeah, I didn't. It. I'm not gonna go. It's pretty blindly sweet. Into this. I heard a part of it. It sounded pretty sweet. It's pretty can, sweet. You, can you Vulgar. freestyle? Do oh, a little I mean, bit. I could do the do one right now. If you want me, to. Uh, oh, I want to. I want to freestyle. I mean, can so anybody good. beatbox or not? I could probably do it. Acapella. Jesse, Jesse Tepper go. is really good. Here we go, beatboxer. Jesse Tepper. Here we go. <laughs> Show us why you came tonight. Why are you here? No. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
this, really awkward. This just took a turn, look, yeah. Wow. You go stand behind the, the amp and we won't be able to see you. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I'm just staring at your Audi. white power shirt. <laughs> Give me like a, a, a nice... <laughs> wow. Conductor pants on right now. I'm sorry, it's now called a That's Trump You work shirt. at the train here? Oh. <laughs> it's a tie. Ooh. No, a white power shirt is now yeah? called a Trump. Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, no Trump. You're Trumping really? yourself. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. I don't believe you. I swear to God. You sold shoes last I knew. I know, and I became a conductor at Metro North. Oh, good for you. Give uh, me a job. No, that's... Okay, look. So wait, I get free rides? Okay. Free rides? <clears throat> yeah, you would love a free ride, wouldn't you? No, it Wow. <laughs> I'm a Yankee fan. <laughs> the Mets suck. I love the Mets. This is off okay. point. <laughs> you have the Cubs <laughs> on your hat. Well, I like them both. I like the Yankee suit. Yeah? This is a man who's confused. <laughs> <laughs> I just like baseball. I think we're all It makes confused. me happy. Baseball is fantastic. I used to play. What it doesn't matter. Uh, beatboxing, Jesse Tepper. On top. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to do this? Give me a nice slow one, like a... Something like that. You could do it, right? Just like that. <laughs> so wait, I'm not a good beatboxer. Right? Okay. All right, here's a little sample of the secret chat. Okay, I'm high like astronomy. Bitches get a lot of me. I got a little bot of me when I was only three. That's why all the ladies love me. Cause I'm motherfucking crazy. I was walking down the street and the girl said, hey, yo. I was like, yo, girl, wanna snow something? Yeah, yo. She said, hell fucking yeah, mother motherfucker. Fucker drove it down the street in my great big trucker trucker. Hell yes, truce. And it goes something like that. I won't. I won't. Care about that. <laughs> I was just about that to get the first all, in, all in favor of the secret track now. Well, that's that's Hell where yeah. I'm okay with. Hell yeah. And then it gets a little. <laughs> can I can I just point out <laughs> the the girl in that story? Very really like vulgar. Really Very likes vulgar. trucks. Yeah, she, she was she was intense. Yeah, yeah she dropped she was, the f bomb a lot. Yeah. Trucker, trucker. Yeah, she was she trucker, was mother. Fucker, I like mother, trucker, trucker. Fucker. Yeah, there's a lot of motherfucker. Uh, motherfucker, fucker. So that, mother, that, mother, fucker. Fucker. Motherfucker, fucker. Motherfucker, fucker. There was uh, there were drugs involved, so there were. You know, so maybe no on the secret check. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't say that. <laughs> we still got one yes for the for the secret track. I'm down. Wait, what's Charlie's so, vote? Charlie doesn't want it. Oh, he said no, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yes, it, but look, it's four. There's four of them. There's no way they're ever going to get to a good vote because it's always going to split down the middle. Well, yeah, I think you John need that. With us, you right? need that Trump card. Like, maybe you got to be. Yeah, it's true. They need to well, surrender. Tr- okay, they need to surrender their rights to yeah, democracy. We'll put, you know what? They'll put it out as a single. Yeah, that'll be a single. That you know what would be funny if that jump started our rap careers. I was going to ask if you're going to do a physical format release. If you're going to do vinyl, you should definitely do a B side. Okay, so it'll be somewhere. Are you going to fit? Are you going to put out the record? Are you going to press vinyl or oh, CDs? Well, eventually, I mean, we're going to do CDs first, and then, you know, we're going to have this release show. And then, you know, 2017, I think we're going to definitely, you know, push to do some vinyl. Like, we definitely got to shop around. I mean, none of us have ever really done that before. So once once we get, like, it out online and once we get the CDs, then we'll worry about that. And, like, 2017 is going to be a big year for us just getting our music out there. Uh, I mean, obviously, vinyl. I mean... I love to collect vinyl. A lot of people I know like to collect vinyl. We want people to be able to collect our record in that form. So hopefully uh, that'll be in the near future, you know, once we find good means to do it. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, for sure. I mean, if, if you want to make a pitch to a record label, this is it. Go. This is, this is your pitch time. Oh, my God. We're, we're not, not a rap group. We're not, we're, not we're not a rap, rap group. group. <laughs> um, well, well we, we're we really hard workers. We really like our music well, you gotta, a lot. You, you got to start with an intro. Hi, I'm... What? <laughs> <laughs> hi, I'm... Hi. We're 8-Bit. Hi, um, mate. Hi, we're 8-Bit. Open to constructive criticism. Um, well, we're and we're be- done. Thanks, boys. Well, <laughs> don't, you know, don't worry about calling us. We'll call you. <laughs> I feel like we'll be a really good part of your team. Well, my mom told me we're great, so... Still here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and just just to clear it up, our our name is Eight Bit, but it's Eight Bit as in like I'm e- I ate a sandwich, so it's you know it's a, it's not an anus sandwich. It's we ate <laughs> this a sandwich. Guy with his mumbly voice. I know I mumble, I mumble, I mumble really bad. JB, I, can we do a remix of that Charlie bit me to say Charlie ate bit? Me? <laughs> I absolutely can. That's great. I really hope you write a song called Anus Sandwich. I could. I could. We, we could definitely work that's on the it. Next, that's the next rap on the <laughs> second album. That, yeah, that'll that'll be the secret song on the next record. Done. And the opening track. And it'll be like the third song, too. We only need 25% royalties. Oh, perfect. You got it all. I'm done with that. Except so, Jesse Tepper. <laughs> all he did was beat Pox. It's the only way this was even possible. <laughs> no. So, so uh, what do you guys... Uh, Someone else would have stepped up. What do, you, uh, what do you guys have coming up? Do you have shows? 
Uh, Why do you keep rubbing yourself? The, uh, he's sitting there like a yoga instructor. <laughs> All he needs is some stretchy pants. Oh, we do actually. Um, so we actually got some really cool news today. Um, we got asked to play a show. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not set in stone yet, but it was it was nice to be in, you know asked. But uh, I guess they're trying to put a show together with uh, Agent Orange, uh, Guttermouth. And the queers, and they asked us if we wanted to be on that show too. Holy so that's actually a pretty awesome thing because those are three huge bands. I mean, yeah, it's going to be right here in Poughkeepsie. It's going to be here in Poughkeepsie. Yeah. Should, we, should, the, should we not be talking about this? Or are we blown up? I don't know. Well, I mean, this is this is we don't know. We don't know. Uh, I mean, it's all conjecture. They didn't, they didn't say uh, don't tell anybody, and <laughs> so therefore we didn't not so, not say. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. They, if they didn't want us to tell anyone, they should have said, "Listen, like we're asking you, but don't tell anyone, okay?" But no, they were just like, "Hey, I you want to do it?" I think like Guttermouth comes around the Poughkeepsie area like at least once a year anyway, so mm. it's to be expected. Sure. Yeah. So we were last year. I mean, Ryan, when are you opening for Public Enemy? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's in the works. That I was actually told not to speak about. So. Right, of course. Yeah, we can't yeah, talk about that sense. one. Mom's the word. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I mean other than the CD release show, we've you know, we've been asked to play a few small things that uh, I mean, we haven't really worked anything out yet. We've been really focused on just getting everything done for this release show, but once I mean 2017, 2016 was the big, you know, let's build let's build our you know our arsenal. Let's get everything ready. Let's you know lots get all of songs. lots of songs, merch. You know, you know, getting our lineup. You know, finalized. Like we had a guy who was who was temporary for a while, just to kind of like get us to the next stage. And like Paul, I mean, he's been with us for about a month now. Yeah, or so, about a little bit more. Than a little that. bit more than a month. And like it's just it's been awesome because now we finally have like that fourth member who's like our like our fourth member. He's the guy who cares about it just as much as we do. He's the guy who, who's at every practice. He wants to, you know, play every song just as good as all of us want to play it. And he wants to put on a great show. So, you know, 2016 was the building up here and 2017 is going to be the, okay, time to, you know, mess shit up and not mess shit up, but like put our stuff out there and let people yeah, fucking, fuck we want to fuck shit up. I didn't want to say that because I get nervous at cursing. We're not on the radio. Okay, good. Fuck shit up. I just want to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> fuck shit. Fuck. He just fucking he just motherfuck. I think I yeah. fifteen motherfuckers. I know. He talked about a motherfucker, seconds. fucker, um, which is the next level of motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that just be a mother? You just know what? It's, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not meant to really. You know, you're not supposed to think too hard into it. You know, it's I'm just sorry. for rhyme's sake. You know. I think it was great. I like to rhyme fuck with fuck sometimes. It's not. Jesse Tepper PhD over here. But yeah. um... Last year we did Pusa Fest in Canada, and we want to go to Canada again for Pusa Fest. Montreal was my favorite place I've ever been to in my life. It was so much fun. But I mean, as far as we really don't have too much stuff booked right now, because we want to pull it all together and just put our all into getting the album out, the artwork, all that good stuff, trying to promote it, and making sure that people actually hear it when we put it out. So polishing Bu- everything up, tying all the loose ends, building the eight bit brand. You know, trying to, trying to get it to oh, a point. You know, brand. businessman now. The, the eight bit brand. Yeah. The, we're gonna brand everyone. Get on my level. Bend space. over. <laughs> Bend over. Take it. Take it down. All right. So so. Uh, I should have thought of a question. I didn't really. Uh, yes, I will go out with you. What a. Uh, <laughs> so your record release party is the twenty. Sixth. It's the weekend after Thanksgiving. Oh, we. By the way, we have a really awesome band coming up. We do have a really awesome band. We met them in Canada. Um, the first night we were in Canada, we got there. We well, first getting across the border, um, that that was kind of nuts. We actually oh didn't think God. we were going to get through the border, and luckily enough, we we got by by the skin of our teeth because I guess you know the, the border we girl thought we were talked, pretty cool. We sweet talked. I don't know. Region. I've never thought of. To be difficult to get across the border. To well, what when the you got, hell were you doing? When you got some when stuff going on in your life, Ryan and Alex. <laughs> yeah, Ryan and Alex. Got so, some, some background. But you know, long story short, we got through Canada, <laughs> and we get to we get to Montreal. We we get to our hotel, and then we're like, we, let's let's go out. Like this festival was huge. Puza is just gigantic. There's always something going on. And what was the name of the place we were playing? The Piranha the Bar. Piranha Bar. So we walked yeah. down St. Catharines. Piranhas in the bar. There was. It was pretty rad. In the- 
There's piranhas in the bar. They were everywhere. I know. What are it, piranhas it was, in the you walk into, Wait, you walk into this bar, and it's piranhas, and then it's Rammstein's porno music video playing. And like that's basically what we walked into. And it was just like, oh, Canada's awesome. Porn and piranhas. Yeah, it was great. Uh, that should have been the name of the bar. Porn and piranhas. Maybe porn and piranha bar. Man, that's, that's a thought for next record. No, so piranha what? porn is very different. <laughs> 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 so, anyway. It's like an all-natural snuff film. Yeah. <laughs> we, we walk in, right? And there's this awesome band playing. They're like a seven-piece. They got like a horn section they got you know um i think two girl singers they're they're called molly rhythm and they were awesome like we, we that was the first act we saw when we got there and they just tore it up so we were like we gotta like talk to these people and find out where they're from and see what's going on it turns out they're from philly and we stayed in contact with them and we we're like we we hit them up uh you know through Facebook, and we were like, hey, you guys, we're doing our album release. We really want you to come, and it's going to be awesome. Like, they're so good live. Their tunes are, you know, it's just going to be a great show. we got a great, like, uh, couple bands playing. So it's going to be it's gonna be sick. I'm excited about it. Cool. So uh, where can people find you? So, uh, I mean, we're on all the appropriate social media outlets. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at uh, 8-Bit Band, I think is what our thing is, and then then on Instagram, which is uh, 8-Bit underscore Punk. Uh, what else? Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes. I was looking for your personal address. Oh, well, you see. Uh, hmm. Maybe after the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, all the, you know, all, all, the, all the normal things. I mean, we don't have a Twitter because I don't, I don't understand it. It's stupid. Um, I mean, maybe, it's, on, it's on computers. Maybe now. one day I'll understand it. Um, but the other ones are fun. They're cool. Can, cool. I, can I bring up something that is, has just been... Baffling me for some time now. Yes, it's gonna get. We're gonna get personal. We're gonna get deep. Let's do it. You ready? Yes. So we're on the stage here where we record our podcast. Is actually on the stage at Dark Side Records, and we have these blue spotlights that shine down on the stage. Mm -hmm. And all I can see of you, you, uh, you have a lot of tattoos. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to paint a picture for the listener here. Ooh. You know, a broad canvas. Paint me, baby. But the only one that stands out is on your hand, you have what appears to be a Bulbasaur with some sort of orange pigment that is just glowing like oh, crazy whoa. in the blue well, light. Well, it's, it's, actually, it's actually an Ivasaur, and actually, it's funny because oh, I've... God. Just, <laughs> just to say, I, not, to, not to be that guy, I mean, I don't want... The thing is, I don't want to say, yeah, it's a Bulbasaur, and then, like, someone comes see us play, and they're like, yo, that dude said it was Bulbasaur? It's obviously an Ivasaur. I gotta call you out now, because I just gotta I just gotta make that noise. But you're right. Show when I actually... I got this done, like, four years ago, at, and I actually got it done by by a local man, uh, Michael Shishmanian, and he uh, yeah. he actually told me when he was doing that, he was like, this is gonna look cool if you're ever under any, you know, lights like that, you know, it's gonna, like, really show, but I don't really go anywhere, so I never had a chance to look at that, and now that's the first time I'm really seeing it, and it's actually really rad. That's really cool. Don't... You thought it was a disease at first? Don't put a black light in your bedroom. I'm just mm -hmm. telling you right it's now. It's going to be weird. They're like, oh my don't god, no. It. It's everywhere. It'll ruin your life. I've got, I've got UV ink on my leg, too. Yep. Yeah. What do you got? Stand over here, man. Let's see that thing. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Whip it out. Put up. You should. I hope it glows, still. I can't see it. You're in the shadows. No. Oh, kind of a little bit. Can, can you stand yeah, over here? Can you like, fall on me? Stand over here. <sighs> well, it kind of <laughs> works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super cool. We got dudes on dudes right now. <laughs> this is like a little bit of boot. Yeah, for those of you who can't <laughs> see this. I just got leg all up in me. Yep. <laughs> it was awesome. My light this is nice. <laughs> is the garter on your leg part of the MTA uniform? Yes. Or? Okay. Yes. Uh, the man hammock, the banana hammock, yep. is also part of it. Interesting. I've always wondered. You should see the piercings I have. Actually. I have to have. No, he's crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything else you guys want to share? Um, I mean, I I love this band. I love these guys. I mean, I didn't I didn't play music for a really long time, and and when I got together with these guys last summer and we started this project, like I didn't know what to expect, and it's been like the best year in my life, especially I mean for what this band has done for me. And I can't wait for people to hear the songs. I mean, we've hardly, you know, s you know, put our foot out the door, and <laughs> we only put our foot out the door, and like we're already getting such a good response from it. And like, I mean, like I said, this next year we want to do a lot of stuff, and like I can only imagine what it's going to be like for us when we do that. And uh, no, but I, I really love these guys a lot. I love the songs, and it's you know, it's really it's fun, but it's like personal and important to me, and like to these guys, and you know, it's just really cool to be able to do stuff like this and kind of get recognition for it, and it's really cool. I'm going to pump the brakes here for a moment and point out that, JB, from your side, you've got the, the Pokemon. I've got mm -hmm. RoboCop on this side of the room. Oh, yeah. But does RoboCop glow? Yeah. 
RoboCop doesn't glow. RoboCop no, no, Robo Robo glows. Robo glows. Robo glows. Robo glows. Robo glows. Robo glows. His, his chest thing. And around his neck. He yeah. Paint, right? He's got the paint uh-huh. on him. It's the same thing. He did, he did that one, too. Holy and he shit. Sure, he sure strategizes for these moments. <laughs> He's like, five years from now, you will be sitting under a light doing an interview, and people will stop the interview to talk about your tattoos that I did. And I will get plugged. I'm sorry. Can you stop <laughs> talking about important, meaningful things? Can yeah. we talk about the pink thing? Enough about your feelings. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear about your, about your stupid feelings. But, uh, but yeah. So, I don't remember what I was talking about. You were actually wrapping up, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> I just, you know, if you, if you, you know, if you like cool, you know, old poppy punk music, um, I mean, it's fast, it's meaningful, it's fun, it's, it's catchy. Like, I mean, check us out. You know? So, that's all I can say. What all about right. you? So, what's the song we're going to play? Uh, it's Not So Stellar. All right, well, here's 8-Bit with Not So Stellar. Okay. 